Yogis, Tina here. Today's class I've got planned for you is full of planks. So we're gonna focus on the core in this nice core intensive class. We'll start things off seated exactly as I am. Have your right shin in front of the left one. Hands are gonna rest down on your legs. Close the eyes for a few moments if that's comfortable and take a couple of deep breaths. Use these first few moments to step away from whatever part of the day you were in, to welcome yourself on the space of your mat. to carve out this moment of self-care for your mind and your body. Take another round of breath. You can blink the eyes open again. So you can be facing forward on your mat. I'm just gonna be facing the camera so it's a little easier for you to see me. Tent your right hand off the side of the mat and float the left arm up. With your exhale, take the side lean. So you can continue walking the right hand further, stretch the left arm, and notice how my left ear is closer to the bicep and not just hanging down in space. You could also flip the gaze underneath that left arm. Now keep leaning, straighten the left arm up, and then let it fall behind you. The palm is facing the ceiling and then extend those fingertips down. So press the heel of the palm out. Get some sensation in the wrist and the forearm. Then come right back up with the arm and I'll take a cross over. So you're leaning the left hand towards the right as well. Now adding the breath, inhale. Let's take the arm all the way up and back. And exhale, curl it forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now the arm goes straight up overhead. Walk the right hand back so you're sitting tall. Cross left hand over to the right knee, walk the right hand back and twist. Now float the right arm up and take the opposite side lean. Now you'll feel the right arm closer to the right bicep. As you come back up, we're crossing arms. So right hand on top, take a hold of both of the knees. Rock back and tuck your chin. As you come back to center, take a big sweep of the arms up overhead and then a forward fold. So the hands out in front of you, you might be able to walk all the way out. Elbows may approach the floor. and then walk yourself back up. So you'll roll yourself forward to come through to your first high plank pose. Make some space between each of your fingers. Belly button is hugging towards your spine and you're pressing the mat firmly away from you. Crown of the head is reaching forward as your heels are pressing back. One more deep breath in. And with the exhale, down dog, hips are high. Now let's move between just those two poses. Inhale, glide back out, high plank. And exhale, hips high dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale to hold. Take a little half step in to shorten up your dog. Bend deeply into both knees. And straighten that right leg so the heel is closer to the mat. Pick the right heel up and then straighten through that left leg, dropping left heel. Now 
then lift up, look forward, and step the feet to touch top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing and sweep the arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take a sun salute A. Inhale, reach up and dive forward. Exhale. Find your plank pose, inhale. And this time let's glide forward and bend elbows, low plank. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog, exhale. Lift your heels and let the heels face left side of the mat. Bend deeply into that left knee and land your right foot down so you get some stretch for right side. And then keep this, but glide out to your high plank and feel the legs straighten. And then exhale, press it back to your downward dog. Inhale, glide out, straight legs. And exhale, hips high. Inhale. And exhale. Pause here. Let the heels float. Pick up right foot and then step it across to the left side of the mat. Bend the knees and walk the hands backwards. Then make some space between the feet so you have all 10 toes facing forward, some space side to side and front to back between the feet. Bend into your left knee and then take a fold. You might like to flip the palms up to release the wrists. And then walk the hands just a bit out in front of you and over to the left. And then back to center. Bend the knees so that hands can come up to hips. And inhale, come all the way up. We're going to spin to turn around, so just listen to my cueing. Lift the heels, go to the right, and turn all the way around so you're facing the back of the mat. Bring your hands and toes to touch. Next up is a figure four. So bend into both the knees, pick up right foot, and rest that ankle on left thigh. So you've got an early balance. Once you have found your balance, you can bend into that standing leg and sit a little lower in the hips. Use your inhale to come back up. Extend that right leg so you can then drop it down. Give a little pedal to both feet. And then chair pose. Bend the knees and reach the arms up. Let the arms drop to shoulders height so you create this T shape with your body and the palms are facing upwards. Now let's lift your heart a little higher and try to let the thumbs touch behind you. You should feel really broad in the front of your body. Now let's curl in. So bring chin to chest and the backs of the palms come out to touch in front of you. So you should not see your arms. They're about the height of the ears. Inhale, let's open up. Let the thumbs press back. And an exhale to curl in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come right back to regular chair and dive down, forward fold. Let's step back, high plank pose. And exhale, low plank. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Float right leg in the air. And let's stack the hip, bending into the knee. You can make some circles with the ankle, spread the toes. And now step right foot just about halfway up the mat so it's not very far. The right toes will angle off the side of the mat. Now let that left heel spin towards the left again. And you'll come up into another side plank. So glide forward, shoulders over wrists, 
and then the right arm floats up. So just check that the hip is in line with knee and knee is over ankle. Then reach that right arm long past the ear. Look down, right hand to the mat. Let's drop the left hip all the way down and then turn to face forward again so that you have this figure four cross with the legs. So that shape you were just in and we'll work towards a variation of a boat pose. We'll start by placing hands behind you. Extend through the elbows, press your heart a little higher. And now slide this left foot closer to your body. Next step would be one hand to foot, one hand to that knee, and press your heart forward, sit up as tall as you can. Lean back a bit, see if you can pick up that left foot. One more breath. Now drop that left foot down, both hands return behind you. Straighten left leg and right foot will cross over the left. Pull the left foot back, scoop underneath the legs, take a lean back and you've got your cross-legged boat pose, hands to heart center. Take a breath in here and on your exhale, turn your torso to the right, squeeze the knees together but let them drop left. Inhale, center, squeeze in. Exhale, twist left. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, center, pause. Straighten the arms, uncross the legs, and then tap down, hug in. Come roll forward, vinyasa. Step back, high plank. Exhale, low. Upward face, downward dog. Let's return to sit. So now we'll have the left shin in front of your right shin. Just take a moment to find your breath. And then we'll get that side body stretch. So the left hand off the side of the mat. Right arm up, and then take your walk out. Think about pressing your right shoulder blade back so that you're opening yourself towards the ceiling. And then the right arm reaches back. Let the fingertip point down. Right arm up, and now take a cross, lean over to the left. Inhale, takes you all the way up and open. And exhale, curl. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now take the right arm up overhead, walk the left hand closer, and now twist. So right hand to that left knee, walk left hand back. Float left arm, and add your opposite side lean. Keep the ear close to the arm. And then come back to center, drop the hand to that opposite knee, take a hold of the knees, and lean back. Come forward, sweep the arms up, and then lean out. So. Staying on straight arms, bent elbows, walking as far forward as your hips allow. And 
and then walk back up. Let's once again come forward to your high plank pose. Extending through each of your legs, draw your belly button up to your spine, and with an exhale, tap your right knee to the mat. Inhale, straighten that leg, and exhale, drop left. Inhale up, exhale right, inhale, exhale left, inhale. Now, both knees hover, so not quite touching down, and hug your navel high to the spine. Keep breathing. Lower the knees all the way down. Now you can keep the toes tucked for your child's pose. Let the hips sink down. If it's too much for under the feet, just untuck the toes. And pass through your tabletop and let the hips rise, downward facing dog. Pick up the heels and then drop them towards the right. So you've got your twisted dog. You can bend your right knee to get that length for left side. And then keep the twist, but glide out to your twisted plank and you'll feel that right leg straighten. Exhale, press the hips high. Inhale, glide out. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, pause, lift the heels. Now pick up left foot and drop it to the right side of the mat. Bend the knee so you can walk the hands backwards. And here's where we'll set the feet up again. So just make sure there's plenty of space between the feet and all 10 toes face forward. Bend the right knee and then walk into your fold. And walk the hands out just a bit and over to the right. And walk it back to center, bend both knees so hands can come to hips and then all the way up to standing. So we're gonna do that little sequence where we spin around again, just listen to my cueing. Lift the heels, we go left, and spin to face the back of your mat. Bend the knees a bit, pick up left foot and rest the ankle on the thigh for your figure four. Once you have found your balance, drop the hips a bit more, stay nice and tall with your chest. Inhale, come back up, kick the left leg out, and then drop it down for a quick pedal. Keeping the toe mounds connected, bend both knees again, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Let the arms drop to the sides again, but then furthermore, interlace the hands at your low back. Roll the shoulders down, reach the knuckles towards the floor, but pick up your heart. And then exhale, let's come halfway down, bend the knees more, look down towards the mat, the arms can float. And then we'll straighten the legs into a fold, knuckles now may reach the ceiling. Let the hands lower all the way down, and step back high plank. Exhale, low plank. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Left leg in the air. Let's stack the hip, bend the knee. Make some circles for your ankle and toes. And then straighten the leg. We're only stepping this foot about halfway, maybe even just a third of the way up the mat. Then the left toes walk off the side of the mat, shift the right heel to the side, glide out for your plank, and then you float 
left arm. And then just check, you want the ankle under the knee, and the knee coming out from your hip. Reach the left arm nice and long past the ear. Then your left hand drops down and the right hip all the way to the mat. And you'll spin around, turn to face forward, and you've got your figure four left ankle, right thigh. Hands behind you. Press to find extended elbows, some space for front body. And then pull that right foot back. So really nice hip opener for your left hip, but we'll take it one step further into a boat pose variation. So the first part of core is bringing a hand to foot and knee. And the next bit is to take a little lean back so that you can float right leg. And don't forget to breathe. Now let's drop that right foot down, both hands behind you, right leg straightens, left ankle on top of right. Now let's walk the feet back, scoop under the thighs, and find your boat pose variation. Left ankle on right, hands to heart, all that core is working, and an exhale, twist left. Knees want to separate, squeeze them in. Inhale center, and exhale right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, center, unwind, reach the arms, straighten the legs, and then curl in. Let's take a final vinyasa, roll forward, plant your palms, find high plank pose, and exhale, low plank. Upward face and downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. And then you can come to sit. So that's that. While plank poses are really hard on the wrists and the shoulders, if you're not used to holding planks very often, it can feel like we did a lot of upper body stuff, which we did. When your arms are supporting you, it's important for your core to be super, super engaged. So give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe the button right down in the right hand corner of the screen. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.